Y'all comment about Big Boy being a better rapper than Andre, I thought was interesting because I get it, and I think I agree. The thing about Andre is just he's just so lyrically, like, somewhere else, right? And I think his lyrics and, like you said, his voice and his selected cadences carry him over to something else. Like, let's look at Bombs of a Bad Dad, right? Okay. The way he delivered on there, the way his voice, you know, goes over that track, the intensity that he's able to give you on record, and coupled in with his lyricism on that record. Where Big Boy did, I mean, he did amazing jumping on that track. So it's not too many rappers ever that's going to be able to jump on the track like Bonds of a Bad Dad and catch wreck like they did. But mm-hmm. the way Dre's able to his vocal inflection. I think that the way he records, you could tell he's a perfectionist at making sure that everything hits at a certain time. And that's why I really dislike when he got into the whole talking style of things. Like how he was kind of like talking through his raps. Because when he would get on it, like he's unstoppable. And sort of like what you said with that skewed on the barbie. The way he delivers it, it makes you feel like things are close, even if they might not be close. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, But I don't. But it is a gift. But I think Big Boy is the one who is actually the gifted rapper. Like if Big Boy had to be a solo artist, even in that era, even now, he could have done it. I don't think Andre could have done it, and I think that. When it comes to being a solo artist, that's a whole nother chamber and that's a whole nother point that we have to give people. And if he has that chamber and Dre doesn't, I'm not mad at y'all for saying Big Boy is better. So how about this? I just thought about a comparison and it's because of the interview that I've been watching. Most people, and, and this is what's so funny about what people think about Andre in relationship to this. Most people think Ghostface is a better MC than Method Man in all-time ranking because of what Ghost has been able to do song-making and album-wise. If you put the bars next to each other, Meth is better. You understand? I disagree, but I understand. No, no, Mike, you can't, you can't, you can't put Ghost's <laughs> best bar next to Meth's best bars. Like, like, Ghost like that's a, what I'm talking about. Like, like Ghost's chamber, Mike, doesn't do the things that Method Man does on Limit. I'm sorry, but Ghost is a top three storytelling MC, and I no, think and that that's when you have I'm that saying, in your chamber. No, no, this list of what I'm about, and that's what I mean. So part of why Ghost gets held is not because necessarily he's better bar for bar, but he does things better, like tell stories, goes in depth makes songs, makes albums that are better. Just as far as the bar work goes, Ghost is not better than Meth as far as the bar work is concerned. Hmm. He's not. LP with the Super Chat says, uh, Stove let y'all gas his hooks up like like he was Meth. Um, Andre Shashir says, I haven't listened to All The Way Through yet, but Ransom's new album, Pain and Glory, sounds nice so far. Ransom got another one? That's what we should have been talking That's about. That's what we should have been talking about. We'll, we'll talk about it Wednesday. Dang it. How did we miss the ransom? All right. Well. Because Westside. No, I mean, Westside takes precedence. We didn't do the wrong thing necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. Ransom yeah, let us know in the album room. of the year contender. Yeah, let us know in the room how y'all feeling about that ransom. Um, 18 yeah. songs. Okay, so you're saying bar for bar. Ghost yeah. is Bar for bar method is better. But, based but on, Ghost based does, on what um, specifically? But listen, but but that's what I'm saying is is that like well, Ghost is better because of all of the things he does. So if you're telling me Big Boy is better, it's because of all of the things that he does. Same way with with Ghost versus Meth, because like much like Meth, Andre has that voice and that delivery that carries him further, and that star power and charisma that carries him further. But if you actually look at the work and the MC, and much like Ghost, Big Boy has really you know, done the work, made the albums. I keep telling people, if you go back and listen to their hits, sounds like Big Boy. Rosa Parks, Elevators, that sounds like Big Boy. You know, there are very few of the hits after Southern Playlistic, because it feels like, how about this? 
On Southern Play Holistic, it feels like organized noise is the driving force. Right. After that, as far as the hit making and these records are concerned, on their next three albums, Big Boy's the driving force. So Fresh, So Clean. Elevators sounds like Big Boy. Elevators. Even though, you know, Andre has that epic verse on there. And even, but no, the but hook, when you talk about um, uh, uh, the song AT Aliens, you know, throw your yeah. hands in the A, like that's Big Boy. Fish and grits and all the pimp shit. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so when, boy. so 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 Big Boy is somebody that had they probably been in a bigger group. Like let's say the Dungeon Family all gets put on like Wu Tang Clan. Big Boy would have been Ghostface. Okay, let's oh, let's go down this line real quick. Right, down this quick rabbit hole. Right, Andre's so the singles, man in the Dungeon Family. Big Boy's Ghostface. He's the album maker and the MC with all the real totality of the skills. Even if you think Ray and Meth are better, or Deck. Like, you could say, oh, well, Deck and, and, and Jizz are better lyrically. Yeah, but not overall. Well, Ray got this and Mev got that, but not better overall. That's who Big Boy is in the Dungeon Family. Nobody's better than Big Boy in the Dungeon Family overall. I would say CeeLo, and that's about it. No, CeeLo doesn't have the ability to make an album like Big Boy, so I don't want to hear that. And, and also, as far as, like, hit-making ability goes... Listen to Elevators and tell me who wrote Elevators because that's the biggest thing that really came out of that camp single wise. That's definitely Big Boy. Okay, me let's go down that line. Let's go down that line. Cousin too. The hook for AT Aliens, the song, you know what I'm saying? That sounds like Big Boy, right? Elevators, that hook, that sounds like Big Boy. Um, Jazzy Bell, that's just singing. So, you know what I'm saying? That's probably neither, either, maybe organized, whatever. Um, then let's move on to Kumana. The Rosa Parks hook. Sounds like Big uh-huh. Boy. Push that fuss. Everybody moves to the back of the bus. Yeah, that sounds like Big Boy, right? Do you want to bump and slump now, with us? We the type of, hold on. Here's how you know it's Big Boy. We the type of people make the club get crumb. Mm-mm. Dre don't talk like that. <laughs> All right, so skew it on the Barbie, though. That sounds like Dre to me. Old school plays. That sounds like Dre. Court. Yeah, skew it All on right. the Barbie sounds like Dre. All right, so we got art of storytelling. What do you think that is? That's more Sleepy Brown? Well, actually, you that's hear Big Boy in there, too. It's like, that's that collaborative. Now. you better go get the hump about your back now. That I sounds Big more Boy Big Boy too. and Sleepy. Hold on. That's Big Boy and Sleepy. It's about four, five cats that's off in the black now. Yeah, that's Big. That's Dre. Dre don't talk like that. We yeah. just shooting game. What's somebody saying? We just shooting game. Dre don't talk like that. Well, you got Damn, Damn, Damn James on Spotty Odie Doublelicious. So that's, that's Dre. That's Dre. That's Dre. Yeah, taking on the good times reference. Um, mm-hmm. And then on Stankonia. Bonds over Bonds Baghdad. Bonds over Baghdad that's Dre. is Dre. Yeah. Um, so Fresh So Clean, that's probably Big Boy influence. Big Boy. I think Miss Jackson is Dre. I think that's a meeting in the middle because Big Boy was actually the one that was having the baby mama drama. That's why he actually oh. has two verses versus one. That's what I've always told people. It's like the person with the real baby mama drama is Big Boy. Fair like point. Erica Badu and Andre didn't have some bad relationship or problem raising their child together like that. Listen to what he's saying. Just know that everything's cool. And yes, I will be there on the first day of school and graduation. That's not tenuous. Tenuous is my baby mama drama don't like me. She be doing things like having her boys from the neighborhood come <laughs> to the studio trying to fight me. <laughs> That's tenuous. What Dre's talking about is ain't tenuous. He's talking about love not working and a child coming from it. I think they're Big talking about two different the things. Baby mama that drama. I'm sorry, yeah. Miss Jackson. That's they're talking about Big Boy's life, not Andre's. But I think the hook was created by Dre. Maybe. Uh, LP with the super chat says Big Boy versus 3K is the perfect example of hard work beats talent when talent <laughs> doesn't work hard. Uh, 3K is just objectively better, but Big Boy did more. Uh, Born King with the super chat says, but Coop, you can say that about deck against meth. Bar for bar, deck is better. That's a really good point. Uh, Mad no. Max with the super chat says, is Andre a better lyricist or more detailed in his content? Because Andre is uh, is for, uh, uh, is a precursor to K-Dot, and K-Dot is a detailed writer more than bars. It's not even, it's not the, the, even, how about this? The content isn't even deep. Okay, do you think detailed and insightful are the same things, Mike? Uh, they can be, but not specifically. Because they're all they can cross, how about this? They can cross each other's paths, but they're not the same thing. Andre's style is more insightful than it is detail oriented. Kendrick is detail oriented. 
Andre is insightful. Needs some hope, like the words maybe, if, or probably. That's insightful. Yeah. That's not detailed. Feel okay. me? Yeah, I feel you. Uh, Michael Williams yeah. with the Super Chat says, uh, whose flow do you think is better out of Jay-Z and AZ? If they collaborated in 1996, it would have been crazy. They both got dope flows. OGTK Cole says, uh, the Ransom Pain and Glory album isn't new. Uh, he just re-uploaded uh, re a better version of his old album. Okay, cool. Thanks for letting us know. 